Hi, how may I help you today? Hi, can I get a medium French vanilla latte? Okay, anything else? No, that's everything. So while I'm waiting for my coffee, I thought I'd just touch on my last little short that I did here on YouTube about offloading with no ramps. And that was basically just me showing my way of how I do that. If you've noticed when I loaded and strapped up my sled, my lugs on my sled are three inch, so they overhang my tailgate quite a lot. I can't get my ramps underneath it. Uh, my box is a 5.4 box, so it's kind of close to being average size, not really. So unfortunately, that's just how I have to unload. I do it very slow, very controlled, and I don't have any broken parts, thank goodness. Uh, these sleds, these modern sleds, they are so, ruggedly made now i mean guys are jumping them off mountain edge they're you know rolling them down the hills like these things are so beastly like to wreck them offloading it out of my sled uh two feet off the ground i don't think that's going to destroy anything if anything it might wear out my idler wheels bumping the ground every now and then uh but most of the time i'm offloading into soft snow so All right, gas, and then we're ready to hit the road. I kind of find that I get into these routines for riding. You know, you always get your coffee first, then you gotta get your gas, gas in the truck, gas in the sled, and then you're good. You know, you have to have those routines apparently to, to feel like you're ready. There has been a morning where I haven't gotten coffee and oh, I felt all out of sorts. till the guests here at the ranch are gone and that the horses are prepped so they don't get freaked out by my sled. Should be okay, they're pretty quiet, but time to get ready. What are you doing, Bean? You ready, Bean? Yeah, you might want them. Are you gonna put them on with you? He won't. I'll go slow at first. Oh my god, just just him. You should have got three. Should have got three. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You ready? Yeah. I'll go slow at first.
Oh, I never got a chance. You want to go? Yeah. Or do you want to drive? I don't care. Or you want to drive it? Just be careful. Okay. She's Put the, wrap the tether and clip it to your wrist, just in case. <laughs> oh, this could be interesting. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know how to sit on this. Budgie. And he's like, I want a budgie. I'm getting a budgie. And I'm like, no, you're not getting a budgie. And he's just like, okay, well then I'm going to get a ferret. So then he's looking at ferrets and then he's like, I'm going to get a ferret. And then he's like, well, maybe I'll get a fish instead. So then he was going to get a beta fish. And now he's going to get a whole school of fish. And then he was like, no, I want a budgie. Oh my God. tied to the back of the bobcat one time when we were feeding way out there and I made I rode in it with Gabby <laughs> instead of walking. <laughs> you, know what, you look like Batman. Hey Batman I go a few more they're more fun. Or you know what you should do? Like a little flanky truck. A car hood. Yeah. Oh my god. Hey, that would pull night. Well, if I escape. Yeah. Yeah, it probably would. I'll be able to float through it. I think I'll bring her up on the side by side and we'll watch. You better. <laughs>
watch your watch your arm on my throttle. <laughs> drying out what a what a crazy day what a crazy day thanks for tuning in and watching my crazy family carnage we haven't done anything like that in a really long time so it was really really fun and we try to get into stuff like that every now and then I guess getting into trouble is what they call it 
So yeah, yeah, thanks for tuning in. All of my riding was on private land and with permission. So if you are thinking about going out and being crazy, make sure you're wearing all your safety gear, make sure you're on uh, land that you have permission to ride on uh, and just stay safe and have fun. Thanks guys.